Hello everyone, my name is Shine. Today I'm reacting to the long-awaited comeback of 7 o'clock with Searchlight. They do have another track called Nothing Better, and I'll definitely get to that soon. Uh, I'm just going to get straight into this because there's obviously a lot to talk about um, with 7 o'clock, so yeah. Just a little bit of a hint, I kind of share a special day with these guys. So yeah, without further ado, this is 7 o'clock with Searchlight. Here we go. Hey. Oh yeah, obviously the boys were on this thing too, so I'll talk about that too. Right, the teaser when they show this, I was just like, oh my god, what is this nostalgia? Why do I feel like a lot of songs lately have kind of been going back to that like to that pre-2009 like 2009 era? Hey. Oh. oh my gosh, why am I crying though? Oh, this is definitely happy tears to you know see them friendly back uh, this is if you guys don't know their first comeback um since their debut like they literally debuted over a year ago um yet they haven't had a comeback till now um sorry i'm looking up the lyrics right now um so this um uh, Oh, search line, not spotlight. <laughs> um, so, um, oh my gosh, sorry. I, I can't, I, for some reason, I can't talk and just like do this at the same time. Um, I'm, look, I'm just, like I said, I'm just looking up the lyrics. 
uh, English lyrics, so, because I've looked in the comments before I watched this video, and everybody was just like, dude, the lyrics are amazing, and can you... So, I'm looking them up right now. Ugh. But man, this comeback is definitely just a long time coming. Um, so, let me just find these lyrics first so I can uh, understand. Uh, let's like see why people are like, oh my gosh, the lyrics, you know. Um, I can't find them. Okay, it's okay. They're, they're, uh, obviously video should be. Anyway, for so sorry. Um, you get to see this because I really want to find the English lyrics for this, but it looks like I can't as of right now. I'll look at it in my own time then. Um, but yes, anyway, where do I begin? Um, seven o'clock has, you know, this is their first comeback in a while. Like I mentioned in the middle of the video, um, you know, they were on mixed line. Um, kind of broke my heart when I saw them. Um, and you know, after mix nine, because, uh, Hangyum, uh, actually, yeah, Hangyum made it first. Uh, he, or I think he was first. I don't know. And obviously, you know, as everyone knows, mix nine fell through due, I guess, non-agreements with, you know, YG and the companies and whatnot. We're, we're all way past that now. Um, and obviously we waited and waited for a comeback. Um, and obviously, if you guys don't know, 7 o'clock is now one member less. Sorry, I'm trying to... F three, four, yeah, five. For some reason, because 7 o'clock is the name, I thought they had But yes, they are five members now. Um, our Vaughn has decided to leave the group. Um, mainly due to health reasons, so... Um, whatever the case is, you know, I hope he, you know, becomes more healthy. And that, um, you know... I just wish him all the best is basically what I want to say. It's like I'm wishing him all the best. Hopefully he gets healthy. Um, and whether we see him on a stage or whatnot, um, it's you know all up to him. But um, so yes, they are now five. Um, kind of broke my heart because you know I really loved Vaughn especially. Um, so yeah. Um, and then we have two name changes within the group. Uh, a day. Um, you know his infamous a day. <laughs> I will never get over that. Um, but yes, he has changed his name to his real name, Han Gyeong. Um, and then I believe it's Young Hu? <laughs> Young Hu? Question mark? Uh, if I am wrong about that, I'll probably edit something in. But he is now known as Two Soul. Um, so those are the two name changes um, for today, uh, for, uh, for 7 o'clock. Um, so that's pretty much what's up with 7 o'clock. It took, like I said, it took them a very, very long time to come back. Um, I, th I have, this is just my own personal opinion. I know by the time this is up, you know, everybody's kind of over everything. So I do apologize for, you know, bringing everything up again. Um, but, um, I feel like they were kind of waiting for Vaughn. Um... But, you know, obviously things didn't turn out. Also, they changed companies, or their company changed names, one of the two. Um, so I think a lot of that has to do with that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my own opinion. But it, it is good to have them back. So, as I mentioned, I do have a special, uh, I guess you can say, connection with them. Funny enough, I found them on their debut day. But what's funny about their debut day is that it's also my birthday. So it's just like I get twice the fun um, now that they have debuted I'm on my birthday. Like literally, I literally found them because they debuted on my birthday. <laughs> like that's the whole, I was actually kind of part of the reason that I decided to check them out. But then I fell in love with their debut song, Echo. And I'm just like, dude, I am in this for life. Um, so yeah, I, I, I share uh, a special date with them, which is their debut date. Um, it, hap it also happened to be like my 21st um, when they debuted. So it's like, hey party time um but no i'm kidding but yeah that's pretty much my special connection with them it's so it's easy for me to always remember their um debut date um so you know it's like 
hey, it's my birthday. It's also seven o'clock's uh, debut year or debut anniversary. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm talking a lot. I'm. I just wanted to get out everything in this video because I know by the time this is up, um, like I said, I'm recording this right now on ten ten, October tenth. Um, so I know this is gonna come up sometime in November, give or take. Um. So a lot of things have already passed and whatnot. Um, so I do, like I said, apologize for you know, re bringing things like bringing things back up again. Um, but I, you know, just wanted to give my thoughts and everything because you know, I, like I said, I've been with these guys since debut. Um, you know, watched them go through mix nine, and you know, patiently waited for their first comeback and whatnot. Um, so yes, yeah, searchlight. Um, for some reason, I feel like I have said this with a lot of songs this year. I don't know why, but I feel like a lot of songs have have gotten that really old, old vibes, you know? Like, some of them are like 2012 to like 2014 era or like 2009, 2010 era. This is definitely like a 2009, 2010 era type of song. Like, especially that small chorus. It reminds me of like an old... An, like an old song that I used to listen to um, way back when, but um, like I said, it is really, really good to have them back. Um, I do apologize again for bringing things up that are probably bygone by the time this is uh, up, but yes, I will be getting to nothing. I'm actually really excited for nothing better um, because this song is kind of more of a mellow song. And I feel like Nothing Better might be a more hardcore song. Uh, I was wondering if they were going to stick with the kind of like vibe that Echo had. But it seems different for now. But I really cannot wait to see, you know, more of 7 O'Clock. Hopefully we can continue to see more of them, you know, variety shows and whatnot. Um, so I'm really excited for them. I'm really happy to finally have them back. Um, so yeah, all in all, simply put, the song itself definitely has... Um, Ooh, excuse me, 20, 2000, 20, 2009, 2010 kind of vibes, um, to me at least. Um, I'm really excited to have them back finally. I get to share their debut date um, because that is my birth date. It's the birth of 7 o'clock and the birth of me. <laughs> um, so it's like twice the fun of my birthdays now. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see more of them. So. Yeah, that's the reaction to Nothing Better will be out soon. I don't know when that will be, but hopefully in a couple of days. Um, but yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.